This is video of one of the suspects, wannabe rapper Sharif Kouashi. He's a French citizen of Algerian descent and is described by police in Paris as a small-time delinquent who became radicalized. It wasn't just 32-year-old Sharif on the left here, but also his older brother, Saeed, on the right. He's 34. These are the men police believe have been at large ever since the shootings at the Charlie Hebdo office. Overnight, a flat was raided in the city of Reims, 90 miles from Paris. Police did not find their prime suspects. So how much did they already know about them? The younger brother, Sharif Kouashi, is the one with the criminal record. In 2008, he was convicted for helping jihadi terrorists go to Iraq and was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment. During the trial, he said he was outraged by the treatment of Iraqi inmates at Abu Ghraib, the notorious U.S. Army prison near Baghdad. The suspects are being linked to AKAP, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. During the getaway, the gunmen shouted they were from al-Qaeda in Yemen, and they may have been trained there. In 2010, AKAP said it was behind the plot to blow up cargo planes travelling from Yemen to the United States. The plot failed. One device was discovered in a printer cartridge during a stopover at East Midlands Airport. The past 13 years, in September 11, the main thrust of the threat in Europe has been linked to al-Qaeda. They are as we've seen, cold-blooded, very organized. The government in Paris clearly knew what they were doing, even if they were initially unsure of which floor the magazine was on. This was not a suicide mission. The men fully expected to get away because they had a getaway car. However, an ID card was left behind, and that presumably was an accident because it immediately gave police the likely identity of the men behind the masks. Simon Viger, Five News.